Hi, welcome to Japan by Food. I'm your host, Shizuka Anderson. I am back in Asakusa today. We filmed a few videos here before. We featured a vegan food store as well as Japanese traditional drinking culture on Hoppy Street, as well as a halal food tour right here in Asakusa. But today I'm doing something completely different, and I'm going to be experiencing Japanese traditional tea ceremony, which I've never actually learned before, so I'm very excited to do that. And today I'm going to be checking out a tea ceremony experience called Chazen Asakusa, and I'm going to be changing into a traditional Japanese kimono to do it. So without further ado, let's go get transformed. I've got my tags for what I'm going to get today. I'm gonna to get my hair done. I will have a bag to go with my kimono and a little bit of extra decoration and an obi, which is the band to go around your waist. So let's go pick out a kimono. Oh, there are so many beautiful colors here. So there's a lot of bags that you can choose from, so you don't need to use your regular purse or backpack, um, these go really well with kimonos. Traditionally, they had little baskets that they carried around. And if you would like to match it with your kimono, usually you pick a color that is in your kimono. Oh, there's so many gorgeous kimonos to choose from. It's really hard to decide, but I think my favorite is this one. I love the vibrant colors. They also have a very traditional color scheme. So let's go for this. I'm gonna go try it on upstairs. This is my kimono look for today. What do you guys think? I actually, I love the, the colors in this kimono, so I'm really happy and I'm so excited to start learning about tea ceremony. I am now here with my tea ceremony teacher of the day. Could you please tell us a little bit about yourself? Thank you very much. Welcome to tea ceremony, Chazen. Uh, I'm Rie Takeda. I have been doing tea ceremony for over 40 years. Wow. My mother was a tea ceremony teacher, so I have been learning tea ceremony since I was small. <gasps> wow, that's amazing. So very experienced teacher today. I'm very excited to learn from you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Uh, this is scubai. Please clean the hand and clean the mind. Wow, this is beautiful. <gasps> like this. Ooh. This is so beautiful. I've never seen anything like this indoors before. So clean the left hand, and then clean the right hand. Wow, that is, this is so lovely. Thank you. Uh, this is tea room entrance, small door. <gasps> this is... Hey. Please try to open into the kitchen. I'm gonna open the secret door into the tea ceremony room. <gasps> wow! This is so cool. I've never done this before. So beautiful in here. Come on in. And normally the Japanese women in their kimonos would close it like this. This is such an amazing little room. It feels so private and intimate. Uh, this is Japanese sweets, uh, made from beans and sugar. Shape is Japanese uh, autumn season. What are each flower? This one is chrysanthemum? Yes. Oh, that's beautiful. Cherry blossom? Is it sakura? Sakura. Oh, cool. Then yeah. maybe, sure, I'll try that one. Beautifully and delicately made. That is so beautiful. This is Japanese fork. <gasps> this one. Yes, please cut and pick and. Oh, okay, so I can just cut like this. Wow. We often see these for Japanese traditional sweets, and we can eat these very traditional tea ceremony uh, sweets like this as well. Oh. The colors on the inside are also so pretty. This is made out of a white bean paste. Um, it is also a very sweet dessert, but it goes very well with a Japanese green tea. Itadakimasu. 
Mmm. Oh, that is really good. It is indeed very sweet, but it has a nice softness and roundness to the flavor. Um, I could eat a lot of this, actually. It's not overpowering for me, but it does indeed go very well with tea, I think. So I'm excited to eat, drink some tea. Wow, this is such a beautiful cup of freshly mixed green tea. Please take a light hand. Right hand? Please raise the palm. Please little bow. Little bow. Clockwise twice. Okay. One, two. Okay, so we always turn the cup twice. The idea is that you don't put your lips on the beautiful design that's on the cups. All right, I'm gonna take a sip of my freshly made matcha tea. Itadakimasu. Mm. Mm. This flavor, it is so delicious. Um, it's a very rich tasting green tea. It, it has a little bit of a bitter flavor to it, but it's not overly bitter. I've had some very strong green teas before. I think this would be somewhere in the middle. And since she's mixed it very nicely, the top is really frothy. It's almost like a like a latte, the, the texture at the top. It is really delicious and really refreshing. It goes very well after eating my delicious sweet dessert. The, the type of tea that we're drinking today is a an Uji matcha tea, which comes from Kyoto, um, which in a city called Uji. And this particular tea, they've tried a number of different Uji matcha teas, and they've chosen a, a blend of matcha tea that is not too bitter and very palatable for non-Japanese people in particular. And as she mentioned, it's not bitter, and it is definitely easier to drink than some matcha teas. So this was really delicious. Taking one more bite. Mm, so sweet and delicious. So next, it's my turn to actually give tea ceremony a try. So my teacher is going to teach me some of the steps to make my very own matcha green tea. お願いします。こちらは夏目と言って、これはお抹茶をすくと茶色というものです。all right, I'm going to be taking about this much. What I didn't know is, well, this is called a chashaku, and that we use this to mix our matcha tea into a nice frothy consistency. But what I didn't know, this is one bamboo stalk, and they've just sliced it into little thin pieces to look like this. Oh. Oh. <gasps> Yay! Yes, mini bubble is very good. <gasps> Great! All right, so now this is the freshly made matcha tea that I have made all by myself. I'm really surprised. I intended to do it the same way, but it tastes different, and it's the same matcha tea admittedly tastes a little bit more bitter. <laughs> but when my teacher made it, it was almost not bitter at all. It was very easy to drink. では何ですけど、あの、茶道についてさとの歴史についてを教えていただけますか。お茶は約800年ほど前に中国から全と一緒にお茶の種を持ち帰ったのが始まりと言われています。その後 日本の様々な文化と結びついて茶道というものができ上がりました。へえ、そうなんですね。800年の歴史ですね。もともともあの女性の方が茶道をされるのが多いんですか。この茶道ができた当時ちょうど武士の世の中で
男の人がしていたんですね。おお、そうなんですね。はい、やはり明日の命もわからないような武士がこの小さな茶室の中で心を落ち着けて一杯のお茶。先ほどこのにじり口という入り口を入ってきていただきましたけれどもこのにじり口は入る時に刀を刺したままでは入ることができないんですねなので刀を置いてどんなに身分の高い人でも頭を下げなければ入ることができませんなのでこの茶室の中は平和で平等な世界になりましたそうなんですか、はい、そういう歴史があるんですね。で,すえー、でこういうあの、まあ、茶道のお部屋、えーとはい、茶室っていつ頃にあのできたんですか、はい、今から大体400年ほど前に千利休という方が茶道を確立したと言われています。なるほど400年前からこういうお部屋で,あので、ね、茶道を始めたんですね。はい、実際にあのこのような茶道あの結構あの、まあ、儀式っていうんですかね,すね儀式がいろいろありまして、はい、あのそういう儀式が始まったきっかけが何だったんでしょうか、はい、先ほどもお茶が入ってきたのが、まあ、禅と一緒だったというお話をしたかと思うんですけれどもやはりあの茶道というのは動く禅と言われてるんですね、うん、心を整えるでこの赤い布を「福さ」と言います、うん、先ほど私がこの福さをさまざ、あ、まな形に折ってお道具を清めたと思うんですけれどもただお道具をきれいにするのだけではなくお道具をきれいにしながら私のまず気持ちを整えます。で、こちらのお茶室の中も清まって、お客様の心も清まると言われています。そうなんですね。茶、は、道、い、っていうのは今今の時代にどういう意味を持っていると思いますか。そうですね。あの現代人は。特に若い方はウエスタンスタイル西洋のスタイルが好きであったりまたあの飲み物も抹茶よりはちょっとスターバックスの抹茶ラテに飲んでみたりという形であのこういう日本の古いものにちょっと離れてしまっているところがあるんですけれどもやはりあのお茶を自分で立てる先ほど立てていただいたので一心不乱というかこう。心が整ってきたり心が落ち着いたりこのお部屋にいるだけで何かこうほっとしたりというふうに今時間の流れがとても早かったり情報が溢れていたりもう頭がパンクするような時にお茶室に来ていただいて、まあ、自分でお茶を立てて一服飲むということで心があの落ち着いたりするのではないかと思います。そうなんですね。ありがとうございます。What a wonderful day in Asakusa this has been, and walking through traditional, beautiful Asakusa in a kimono has made the experience all the richer. And it feels like I have traveled back in time, or even that I'm on the set of a Japanese historical movie. So this is definitely worth trying if you ever come to Asakusa. And on top of that, the tea ceremony experience was very enriching. I learned so much about tea ceremony that I didn't know before, including the fact that tea ceremony is kind of a philosophy, not just A traditional culture, and it's about setting your heart and your mind and your soul at peace. So, this is definitely something to do to distract yourself from busy, bustling daily life. And on top of that, it's really important to remember that a tea ceremony is actually a harmonious activity. And the samurai themselves, they used to perform tea ceremony, but they were not allowed to bring their swords into the room. So it really is a symbol of peace and harmony. And I think this is definitely something worth a try and a great chance to experience Japanese culture in Asakusa. So if you guys are interested in trying this,、uh, we'll link everything down below、uh, where you can get your kimonos as well as the Asakusa and Ginza locations where you can try tea ceremony. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see you guys in the next episode of Japan by Food. Bye!